Well, hi everybody. It's Diane from California Tea and Herbal. I'm wearing my work clothes today. What I wore for years when we owned our bricks and mortar stores and when I was the one making drinks behind the counter. Today, I've got something I want to talk to you about, and that is the simplest, easiest, no-brainer way to brew loose tea. And I've run into so many people that say, you know what, Diane, I love loose tea, but it's just, it's such a mess, it's hard to brew at home. The bags are just simpler, but the loose tastes so much better. And you know what? That's so wrong. The other one is, well, loose tea, it, it's actually more expensive than bags. No, they're about 26-ish cents each on average. So let's kill those two right now. But today we want to kill the it's hard to brew myth. Now I come up with a system that we use here at home. Ever since we closed the store, I've adapted something that's so simple. I've touched on it in other videos, but I really want to get this out to you today. So let's, let's start. I hate long instructional videos. Let's do it. Now, these are travel tumblers that you see every day. You take your hot drinks with you, and I don't care what brand. This one's Thermos. Um, this, this one is something else. It doesn't matter. All you need is an insulated travel tumbler, and we like stainless steel just because it doesn't pass through taste or odors at all. Um, and if you're going to brew multiple teas you know, at the same time, that's good to have. You can throw them into your dishwasher and just, you know, clean right there. So there's really no cleanup. Let me show you the simplest way to brew loose tea at home. I've got, oh, about a heaping teaspoon, tablespoon of tea in here. And I'm going to take the first travel tumbler. Now you notice this. This is a home water tower. And this has three different temperatures. And so I've got the lower temperature for my green and white teas. I've got the higher temperature for my black, oolong, and puer teas. Now, some people want to go every single degree and get out the thermometer. This is not the school for you because I can tell you, after over a decade, it is just not that particular on a daily basis. You've seen the videos where they go through the slurping and the spitting and the talking about the notes and I, you know, that's all great. But come on, we want to drink some great tea, right? So, your loose tea. Put it in your travel tumbler. Easy as a bag, right? Now, you can, you can boil the water. A lot of you have kettles, things that go really quick. Now, I've had to adjust my kitchen. My kitchen's actually over there. But because of the setup and the lighting, trust me, I have to do it this way. So, I'm going to put in 8 ounces of water. Now, I'm either going to make, with that teaspoon, heaping teaspoon or tablespoon of tea, I am either going to make a 12 ounce hot tea or, with the same 8 ounces, I can make a nice 20 ounce iced tea. All right. Eight ounces of water. This is a black tea, so it's 195, 200 degree-ish. It's in there. Now I'm going to cover it. Just set the lid on top. The temperature, unlike so many other things like pots, I'm going to set this hopefully where you can see it, like pots and so many other things that are glass or that are, you know, this kind of, some of them are even plastic, the, the plastic that you can use with really hot temps. But let me tell you something, stainless steel that is closed is going to keep that tea steeping at absolutely the right temperature, no heat loss. Now, I don't have my timer on, but I've got a head for when black tea should be done. Black tea should steep within four four and a half minutes. You're going to add milk and other things. Sometimes you can let it go five. So it's just doing its thing. I don't have to do anything else. Now this is going to be my hot tea. When it's done, I'm going to pour it through my little sieve here. You can use a home sieve or I've got a strainer. I'm going to pour it back into here and then I'm going to fill in four more ounces of water poured in my cup as my hot tea. 
Now, if I want an iced tea, I've got my second travel tumbler, and you can see how many we have just around the house here. They're so useful. I fill this up with ice, see, like over the brim with ice, because when this is done steeping, I'm going to take the strainer, pour it in my measuring cup, and pour it over the ice, and then I'm going to shake it. So, like in one I made about shake and iced teas, I can do a shake and iced tea here at home. <laughs> it's so simple. You know, when you go into a, a tea or a coffee house, a lot of times you're going to leave it with a pyramid bag floating in your cup, and that thing's going to keep infusing and infusing and getting more and more bitter and getting more and more. Not good. So we want it timed right and out. We don't want bags. We don't want wet, sloppy bags in the car. We got to figure out what to get rid of. We don't want to take those with us. We want to take our tea from home in a nice travel tumbler, either iced or hot, and we're ready to go. Okay. Now, for the purpose of making this video short, this tea has been probably steeping a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and it should go longer, but I'm just going to demonstrate to you today how to, how to do this at home. All right, timer goes off. Get my strainer, and I've already used this. I made myself a cup before I started the video. So I don't want you to see it too closely. And now, and you can't see this unless I hold it up, I'm going to pour it right into this cup again through the strainer. Now, what do I have? I have leaves in a strainer, don't I? And you might say, well, Diane, that's why I don't like it, because what do I do with the leaves now? Here's what you do. Put them on top of this, top of the travel tumbler, give it a little tap. Almost all of them are going to come out. The rest of them, you're going to give them a little swish. A few little teeny leaves aren't going to hurt anything. And this, what I do is I compost the leaves. Now, if you're not into composting, you take it over to your, however you dispose of your trash, and you knock it on the side, you're going to get, after a couple knocks, you're going to get, most of these leaves are going to come right out. So then fill it with water. Again, you're going to have tiny little, teeny little bit of leaves that may go down your drain. I've done it for years. That's it. You've got a rinsed out strainer. You've got a rinsed out steeper or uh, strainer. Now, now, throw them in your dishwasher every night. Otherwise, what do you have? You have a mushy, sloppy, uh, in fact, the, the tea in bags is dust. It's literally what falls to the floor in the processing plant when the sieves shake down from grade to grade to lower to lower to lower to the dust and fannings on the floor. And then the big tea companies, throw them into tea bags. And even when you're sold these sachets, my friends, there are certain teas, like oolongs, they cannot expand and move around in the water. No tea can really move around in the water inside a little pyramid bag or sachet. They need to float, free. Trust me on this, it's been my life for over a decade. And I want you to experience great loose leaf tea. All right, so. I've got my eight ounces, and it's so beautiful. I don't know. Oh, if you could just smell this. It's that tropical black that I linked in the shake and ice tea video. So you can look for that in our playlist. Now, I'm going to do this iced because it's hot today in Southern California. If I wanted to have a hot tea, I just add four ounces of, of the uh, hot water to it and pour it in my cup. But I want to make it into iced tea. So I check. Yep. Eight ounces. Take my second full of ice travel tumbler. And I love this. I can hear the ice melting and crackling, and I see the steam as it hits the ice, and I smell it. Oh, the smell of great loose tea. Uh, there's just nothing like it. And so I take the lid, and I did this in the shake and iced tea, so I'm not going to insult your intelligence if you've seen it, but as you know, we, we really, really shake this up. And when it's all said and done, I'm going to have an amazing, amazing shake and iced tea. So, here's the deal. This video is now done. 
And I want to thank you for listening. If, if, if I didn't have passion about the subject, I wouldn't do these. Because frankly, I know nothing about lighting. I know nothing about stage setting. I know very little about makeup. I know about tea. And I know about loose tea. And I know you're being sold bags and sachets. And the big companies have pretty pictures on the packaging. And Oh my gosh, you know, now there's lines of health teas. And there's a tea comes from one plant, Camellia sinensis. Every tea. We'll get into that later. But friends, I hope, I hope, I hope I got this through today in a slightly entertaining but at least understandable way. Two travel tumblers, and you can either have hot tea or iced tea in minutes with almost no clean up at all. Certainly no more clean up than a sloppy, wet, dripping bag or sachet on your hands to try to dispose of. So I've got the iced tea. If, if you had the hot tea, great. And we'll both leave, and we will take our wonderful teas with us. In our insulated tumblers, it'll stay hot or ice for hours and we're ready to go. Bye for now, friends. I really enjoy doing these videos. If you'd like to see something that I haven't covered and there's so much more to cover, let me know. Talk to me. I'll answer questions. We'll talk. See you next time. Oh, please subscribe. I was doing my end smile that we do the subscribe over, but I would really like to do this in person. Please subscribe, because not only is it encouraging, but it really kind of um, tells me if I'm succeeding or not at getting my message across. And if you'd like and share with your friends, I'd really appreciate it. Now, thanks so much. See you next time.